Welcome to the Prep Zone. My name is Grant Yenny. Tonight we're here at Lakeshore High School as Salmon travels to take on Lakeshore in district play. Now every game is crucial at this point as you push towards the playoffs, trying to get uh, good seating. Lakeshore is trying to battle their way into the playoffs, whereas Salmon's trying to get back into the top 10 uh, to get a better opponent in the first round. So we'll see what happens tonight. I spoke with both coaches moments ago. Let's hear what they had to say and get to the action. Free game with Coach Kendall. Coach, it's our first time seeing your team this season. Can you give us a rundown on how you've been playing? Been playing really well. Uh, moving the ball pretty effective. We score a lot of points. We pass the ball. We're a little weak on rebounding, which has always been an issue for the last couple of years. But we're playing pretty good basketball. And Salmon just outside of the top 10 in the power rankings. What's it going to take to beat them tonight? Based on when we played them last time, it was our miscues turnovers, and they scored off our turnovers. If we can minimize our turnovers, we got a shot. Free game with Coach Carlin. Coach, is late in the season, but it's our first time seeing you this season. Can you give us a quick rundown on how your season's been going so far this season? Uh, our season's been kind of up and down. We've had, uh, we've had some moments where we've been very, very good, and we've had some moments where we've been average. Uh, you know, we had some adversity that we had to deal with, which most teams do during the course of the season. But uh, we're still trying to figure it out. Uh, our biggest thing is trying to be a consistent basketball team. And if we got the pieces, if we could put them all together, and I know it's late in the year, we right in the middle of the district, and this, this district is, uh, you know, pretty close even race between us, Lakeshore, and Frankenton right now. So whoever can play the best basketball in the last two weeks of this season is going to end up prevailing. Lakeshore has got uh, some big guys. They also have some guys who can shoot. What's it going to take to beat them tonight? Uh, you know, it's, it, it's the same message. We, we got to be solid on defense. You always try and take away your opponent's strengths, you know, and make somebody else beat you. And uh, but with us, it comes down to we, we play hard on defense, and kids work hard on defense. It basically comes down to our ability to score the basketball and be efficient on the offensive end. Uh, you know, if we can score 55 points a game, you know, we usually got a chance to be very, very successful. But we've had nights where we our offense hadn't been as good as what we would like it to be. And on those nights, that you know, we've struggled some. So if we can become a little more consistent on the offensive end and stay solid on defense, you know, we'll fight, we'll do fine. Dean and Sandrock to tip off here to start off this district matchup. Dean wins the tip and gets it over to Troy Henry. Bounce pass back up to Dean. Dean turns, puts it up, he's off the mark, and it's rebounded by the Spartans. Quickly going the other way, putting up the three-pointer. It's rimmed out, and C.J. Ivey quickly the other way. Ivey been playing at a high level for the Titans for quite a while. This one to be tipped in, comes out and going the other way for the Spartans. Passed over, shot up from Williams, sinks it. So Jaden Williams, six foot sophomore, puts Salmon on the board first with a three pointer. And now CJ Ivey has pressure all over him, and the foul is called before he could push up court. That one called on Anthony Mosley. Mosley, a 5'10 senior. Uh, also, two sport athlete as Mosley plays football for the Spartans. Throw in for the Titans. Quickly up the other way, Parker. And that one goes out of bounds. Colby Parker got a bit of playing time last year as a freshman for Coach Kendall's team. And that one back into Williams, bringing it up court. CJ Ivy guarding him. Dribbling around Williams, pass to the outside to Mosley. Here's Klein. Reese Klein bounce pass taken the other way by Hunter Dean. Pass to Parker. Parker lays it in for two. So 3 2, Salmon leads. Sandrock kicks it out. Shots up. Williams off the mark. Dean gets the board. Hunter Dean, six foot seven junior. From far downtown, Ivy is off the mark. And the rebound for Williams going the other way. Lakeshore gets it back. It's thrown up to Ivy. Laid in. And Lakeshore takes the lead four to three. 
Six minutes to go here in the first. This up to Sandrock. Pressure on Sandrock from Norris McClure. And there, they're going to call the foul. So that one is called on Ivy. That'll send Rashawn Gillespie to the line. Gillespie, a 6'3 junior for Coach Carlin. Gillespie's shot is up. And that one off the mark. Second shot coming as Lakeshore leads here at home four to three. That shot up, that one sinks. I was talking to Dave Williams before the game. He brought up this is the first time we at Channel 13 have covered this big district matchup of Lakeshore and Salmon. And right now, four to four tied up. We're looking for a good matchup tonight. Here in our first time ever covering this one, Sandrock is off the mark. And that was a quick call, but a jump ball called. Jump ball is the call of possession. So it'll be a throw in from Reese Klein. Klein lofts it up for Sandrock. Sandrock 6'3", senior. Gillespie turns, lofts it up, left-handed, and it goes. Three points on the night for Gillespie. It's 6-4. Salmon reclaims the lead. And Dean will take the three, and he is off the mark. And that'll go out of bounds. Checking in for Salmon, Devon Lozana. Six foot suit, uh, a sophomore. <clears throat> Inbounds it to Williams. That one back to Lozana. Thought about it driving, and he went to pass it to Sandrock, and it's stolen away. And there's the foul called on Jaden Williams. And Coach Carlin will take a timeout to talk it over with his squad. With 4.39 remaining here in the first, Salmon leads 6-4. to four. Lofted up for the Titans. Griffin Davidson to Parker. Parker driving, looking for an option to pass to. Gets it over to Troy Henry. Henry had it stolen, going the other way. Williams lays it in. That makes it eight to four. The Spartans holding the lead here in the first. CJ Ivy quickly the other way kicks it out to Parker for three, and he's off the mark. And if you can do it, why not? <laughs> So sub in for Lakeshore, B.J. Foster. Foster got some playing time on the Lakeshore uh, football team late in the season. He's a freshman. And this one laid up and in, Devon Lozana. But they're looking for big things from uh, B.J. Foster, both on the basketball court and soon to be on the football field next year. And a timeout called on the floor. 3.49 remaining here in the first. Salmon leads 10 to four. There's a CJ Ivy to inbounds. This one passes it into Foster. Foster looking to get past Williams. Bounce pass up. McClure off the bottom of the backboard there and back into Salmon possession. Here's Williams out to Sandrock. Sandrock to Mosley. Turn, put up, and drains it. Rashawn Gillespie once again. Five points on the night for the junior. And Salmon leads 12 to four. 
Parker looking there for Hunter Dean, and it was just knocked away by Salmon. Here's Anthony Mosley. Bounce pass back to Williams. Now around the horn, up. Gillespie puts it up off the mark. Good pressure there from the six foot seven Dean. That one put up by Foster. He's off the mark and they're gonna call a foul on Griffin Davidson. And subs come in for the Titans. Charlie Rink checks into the game along with Brendan Perry. Brendan Perry also a member of the Lakeshore Titan football team. The state runners up. Mosley, good move there, up off the mark, rebound CJ Ivy. Ivy splitting defenders, looking to take it coast to coast, puts it up and drains it. Sandrock over to Williams. This one up to Gillespie, had four guys on him. He bounced pass out to Mosley who drains it from downtown. That makes it 15 to six. Pass up to Perry. Three point attempt is off the mark. Dean rebounds it, puts it up and he's fouled. And the foul called on Rashawn Gillespie. And that'll send Hunter Dean to the line. Dean already drawing the interest of a number of colleges wanting him to play basketball for him, including notably Tulane University. That went up off the mark. Here's Mosley to Lizana to Sandrock, puts it up and off the mark, but he's fouled. So that'll send Keith Sandrock to the line to shoot. Foul called on Rink, the senior for Coach Kendall. First shot's up, and that one's off the mark. Kerry Holmes, a senior for Coach Carlin, checking in as Gillespie comes out. Shots up, he sinks that one. He's pushing the ball up court. Perry is fouled. It's a foul called on Devin Lozano. That's his first personal 15 foul. So Brendan Perry go to the line to shoot the 5'9 sophomore. Off the front edge of the rim for the first one. Word of encouragement there from Hunter Dean. Going the other way for the Salmons. <clears throat> the Salmons, the Spartans. <laughs> Bounce pass there. Out to Lozana. Lozana puts this one up, drains it for three. Five points on the night for the sophomore. Here's Ivy looking to get around the defender. Sandrock in his way, passes it up to Perry. Driving, puts it up, and they call the charge. So a minute 11 to go here in the first. Salmon leads 19 to seven, and checking back into the game for Perry is Colby Parker. Also, Griffin Davidson checking in. Out comes Charlie Rink. Taking his time to get across midcourt there, Williams. Ball over to Holmes, up and They're going to call a foul on Davidson. 
With under a minute to go here in the first, the 19 to seven. This one's been all Salmon. That one up and in. That's two for Kerry Holmes. And Foster bringing it up court. Davidson has pressure on it from Holmes. And they're going to take the timeout. So 42 seconds remaining here in the first. Salmon leads 21 to 7. Throwing coming, B.J. Foster. Foster inbounds to Parker. Parker looking to get past Lozana. Gets there to Ivy, and it's off his fingertips and into the stands a little too high as Ivy couldn't extend all the way to get that one. So 34 seconds to go. It'll be a throw in from Lozana. Lozana gets it into Williams, and Williams up to Mosley. Salmon taking their time to set this one up. Ivy guarding Williams. That one wide open for the lay-in is Williams. That's seven points for Williams on the night. 12 seconds to go, and the foul is called. And this time Williams is called for the foul. So B.J. Foster, the freshman, will throw in for the Titans. And they have two guys on Ivy, one guy on Parker. Looking to get somebody open, and they're going to call another foul on the, on the Spartans. Once again, it's on Williams. Williams is third person, 17 foul. At the line, shoot one. So that'll send Ivy to the line to shoot. So Lakeshore now in the bonus. That one up off the mark. And it was it came down and threw the legs of a Spartan player there. Now back into the possession of the of uh, Salmon. Lozana puts it up at the buzzer. Off the mark, so through one, all Salmon as they lead 23 to seven. St. Tammany Parish Public Schools, an A-rated school district. Graduates with the highest ACT scores in the state. Facilities with the latest technology. Safe and secure schools. A variety of sports fine arts, and learning to last a lifetime. I'm Superintendent Trey Foles, and this is where we educate every child every day. Ivy to throw this one in to start off the second. Inbounds to Parker. Parker driving, looking to get around uh, Klein. And this one thrown to Ivy. As Lakeshore needs to battle back, they need to uh, be able to get some points that, uh, in. And the foul called. And that one called on Anthony, uh, Anthony Mosley. That'll send CJ Ivy to the line to shoot. First shot up, hits off the front edge. Coming down with it is Anthony Mosley. Mosley pressing up court, looking for an option to pass to. Gets it over to Lozana. Lozana taking his time, setting up as Parker comes down to pressure. Wide open Klein for three is off the mark. And a rebound there. Oh, they're going to call the travel on Sandrock as he was jumping a little bit as he was uh, trying to come down with the rebound. It's hard to get the ball over Hunter Dean. So it, it took a few hops. Throw in for Ivy. And Ivy's going to call a timeout. 
as he didn't have an option to throw to in the five seconds that he needed to. So with 7.24 remaining here in the second, Salmon leads 23 to seven. So Foster inbounds this one. Gets it to Ivy, Ivy back to Foster. Good exchange there. Foster looking to get around Klein. Finds Henry. Henry's uh, pass is tipped. Good move there by Parker. Henry puts it up, he's off the mark. And Salmon comes back down with it. Carry Holmes. Lozana taking his time. Driving wide open lane, tosses it up. Off the mark, Salmon wanted a foul there on Dean. Ivy looking for an option to get it past Mosley. Finds Dean, and Dean blocked by Sandrock. The ball swatted away. Salmon Bench excited about that one. Throw in coming for the Titans. And Ivy launches this one long. Foster comes down with it, out to Henry. Foster puts it up, and he's off the mark. So Lazana out to Mosley. Klein back to Mosley. And 6.05 on the clock here in the second. Wide open Sandrock for three, in and out. Well, good job following it up there by Kerry Holmes. Good hustle there. Parker loses the handle on it. Henry from far downtown. Ivy off the mark, but Henry comes away with it. Up and yeah, Parker's fouled there. That'll send Parker to the line to shoot as the foul is called on uh, Reese Klein. Parker sinks the first one. That makes it eight for the Titans. But a commanding lead for the Spartans as they lead 25 to 8. Second shot up by Parker. Klein, bounce pass. Sandrock driving, splitting defenders, has a lane, tosses it up. Off the mark. Foul's on the 20. And that foul called on Hunter Dean. 16 time. Sandrock's first shot is off the mark. This team leads 25 to nine. Second one goes. Sandrock two points on the night. Lakeshore needs to uh, put some points up or get close to the basket. They need to finish because they've had opportunities where they get close to the rim and it's just in and out. And then Salmon's always there to get the board. Throw in there, Klein into Lozana. Out to Sandrock, back to Lozana. Brendan Perry guarding Lozana. And they're going to call backcourt. He stepped back with that right foot crossing the line. And the official was watching it intently. So Perry inbounds to Colby Parker. Parker, good move. Get trying to get around Klein. Good job by Klein uh, keeping his, his footing and being able to stay in front of him. And that one drops for the sophomore, Parker.
up. Battle at the rim, Ivy comes down with it, and they're gonna call that foul on Carrie Holmes. So it's 26 to 11. Salmon leading Lakeshore. And CJ Ivy to the line to shoot for the Titans. That one in and out. Second shot up, drains it. Ivy five points on the night. Here's Sandrock bringing the ball up, passing it out to Mosley. Mosley has a shot wide open, didn't take it, passes it. Lozana driving, kicks it out, and they're going to call a foul. This one will be called on Brendan Perry. So that'll send Lozana to the line to shoot for the Spartans. And official looking at something before passing the ball to Lozana. Up off the mark, tipped back, and that one falls for Kerry Holmes. Assist there from Sandrock. And quickly the other way, Perry nearly losing the handle on it, passes it to Parker, and they're gonna call double dribble. And you hear, for, for that call, you hear a lot from the crowd saying, how? So 3.55 remaining here in the first half, and Salmon leads 28 to 12. Luzana bringing the ball up court. Parker guarding and bounce pass there. Out to the newly uh, subbed in W. Fashon. Holmes to Lozana. This went up to Sandrock. Turns, puts it up. He's fouled. That'll send Sandrock to the line to shoot. The foul is called on Zachary Hayes. Hayes a sophomore for Coach Kendall. First shot's up, drains it. Sandrock, three points tonight, all three free throws. And that one out. Parker, so here's Foster to Hayes, looking for an option to pass to, dumps it to Parker. McCollum. So that'll send Jacob McCollum to the line to shoot. McCollum a junior. <clears throat> so McCollum's first shot is up and banks off the uh, front edge of the rim there. Gillespie will check back in for the Spartans as Kerry Holmes will take a seat. Second shot coming from McCallum. That one drains. So McCollum, point on the night. Here's Lozana as Salmon leads 29-13 with 3.08. Left to play in the first half here. Gillespie scores there. So Gillespie comes right back in and scores off the bat. Seven points on the night for him. Here's Hayes looking for an option to pass to. Hayes kicks it out. Here's a bounce pass to Foster. And that one picked off, going the other way by Lozana. Up and off the mark, foul called. An 
offensive foul is called on Mosley. And checking in for Salmon is uh, Reese Klein. Klein, the senior, started off in this one. He comes in for Anthony Mosley. Bounce pass there for uh, going the other way. Kicked out. Hayes puts it up off the mark, and Gillespie gets it back, passes it up to Fashon. Gillespie and a foul called. So that one called on Zachary Hayes. And Hunter Dean will check back in. Out comes Hayes. So first shot coming for Gillespie. And that one sinks. Eight points on the night. Next shot coming, 2.28 to go here in the first half as Salmon leads 32 to 13. Rebound, Rebound there from McCollum. Here's Dean. Spots up from three, drains it. Dean, his first three-pointer of the night, makes it 32 to 16, Salmon leading. Lazana to Sandrock. Sandrock looking to get around Jacob McCullum. Gets there, puts it up, and Dean is right there. And the foul is called. CJ Ivey getting ready to check back in for the Titans as Keith Sandrock heads to the line to shoot. He has three points off of three free throws tonight. Drains the first one. Four points. And C.J. Ivey checks in for McCollum. Check that for Foster. Drains that one. Here's Klein, tipped up, thrown back by Cullen Ziegler. Throwing over there on that far sideline from Klein. Klein gets it into uh, Donaldson. From far downtown, Klein off the mark. And McCullum with the rebound gets it back to CJ Ivy. 141 on the clock here in the half. Ivy needs to get around Sandrock, and they're going to call the foul. So that'll send CJ Ivy to the line to shoot. Both teams now in the double bonus. We usually call it the uh, the foul party at the end of the game when. Uh, they foul usually to stop the clock at the end, but this, this whole first half has been one big foul party. Shot up from Ivy is off the mark. Lozana to Reese. And that called on Hunter. Hunter Dean. Dean looks a bit confused as to what happened, as well as a lot of people sitting around, not, not really sure what the call was for. But the uh, official insists that there was a push. So Fashon to, th uh, to, to shoot the free throw for the Spartans. Hear the booze from the Lakeshore crowd, and that one sinks. Second shot up, drains that one. Here's Dean. The handle's coming down, trying to get around Kyron Donaldson, and that one off his leg and out of bounds. That'll be Salmon Ball for the throw-in. 
as Reese Klein will throw in for the Spartans. This one up to Fashon. Fashon quickly the other way, looking to go outside. Sandrock driving, runs into Dean, puts it up. That one doesn't go. And now the other way, McCullum gets it out to Parker. Parker to McCollum through his hands, and Lazana comes up with it, gets it back to Sandrock. Under a minute to play, Sandrock driving, runs into a wall, throws it up, but the foul is called. Causing four, Ziggler is first. Line shooting two, number one, Sandrock. So that'll send Sandrock to the line. Sinks the first one. He has six points on the night. All of them are free throws. And that one off the mark. Dean gets the rebound with 42 seconds on the clock here in the first half. Dean driving, tosses it up. He's off the mark. Salman comes down with it, the rebound. Kyron Donaldson, the 6'1 senior. Here's Lozana. As time runs down, Lozana looking to get around Ivy, gets it to Sandrock. Sandrock dumps it off to Fashon. And that foul called on Cullen Ziegler. So at the line, Divya Fashon sinks the first one. Three free throws made for him tonight. Second shot up, drains that one. With 14 seconds on the clock, Salman leads 39-17. Hunter Dean bringing it up here near sideline, right in front of Salman's bench. A lot of noise from the Salman sideline, and they're going to call a push on Kyron Donaldson. That'll send Dean to the line to shoot. So Dean's first shot. Second shot coming for Dean. Up, sinks that one. Troy Henry checks back into the game for the Titans as Hunter Dean comes out. 4.4 seconds left on the clock. Here in the half as the throw in comes from Reese Klein. He launches it out and it's laid in with two seconds to go by Divya Fashon. And the buzzer will sound to bring us to half as Salmon leads 41 to 19. Kicking off the second half, Klein throws it in to Williams. Coming out of half, it's 41 to 19. All Salmon here in this matchup tonight. Uh, a lot of fouls and a, a lot of um, inability to finish at the rim for Lakeshore as the point goes there for Gillespie. Conversely for Salmon, I mean, they just, uh, they're playing a pretty uh, complete game so far in this one. Every time they get down to the rim, they're, they're able to finish and put it in the hoop. They're able to shoot threes and they're definitely winning the rebound battle. Troy Henry. Troy Henry scores there, and he's fouled. Uh, so Lakeshore has a long way to battle back as they're down 43 to 21. Shot up, it sinks that one. And Lazana checks back into the game for the Spartans. Out comes Jaden Williams. Reese Klein bounce pass into Lozana. Ivy all over Lozana looking for an option to pass to. Sandrock out to Gillespie, puts it up. He's off the mark. 
Good rebound there from Cullen Ziegler. And Ziegler standing beyond the arc. That one up to Dean. Good job by Dean to haul that one in. And he puts it in the basket. Eight points on the night for Hunter Dean, the 6'7 junior. And throw in coming from Reese Klein, but Klein launches it up, looking for Mosley. Mosley driving backward pass up to Sandrock. Sandrock's off the mark. Good job by Hunter Dean coming down with that one. Parker pass to Henry. Henry for three. In and out, Mosley gets the rebound. Driving up Lozana. Lozana out to Sandrock. And that one just punched out. Came free and collision. No whistles though, still in play. And for three is Anthony Mosley. He's well off the mark. Ball loose, picked up by Klein. Klein thought about it, pumped, gave it to Gillespie, and Gillespie sinks it. 12 points on the night for Rashawn Gillespie, the 6'3 junior for Coach Carlin, as it's now 45-24, Salmon leading. This one quickly the other way. Parker went to steal it, and the foul is going to be called on Colby Parker. So uh, throw in coming for the Spartans. And Reese Klein. Klein needs to find an option as time is running down. Gets it up to Lazana. Lazana to Sandrock, and another foul is called. Foul number zero. That one called on CJ Ivey. Throw in for Klein. Klein bounce pass to Mosley. Mosley kicks it to Lozana. Klein bounce pass up. Good job there by Ziegler. Knocked it loose on the pass, and CJ Ivey comes away with it. Hunter Dean levels Klein. No ball, though. And now going back the other way, Rashawn uh, Gillespie. Good job there. Good pass. Physical play on the court right now, and no whistles. And there, a foul called. An official talking it over. Still some discussion. Here comes the call. All right, so the foul called on Troy Henry. And more discussion at the scorer's table. But this will be a throw in for the Spartans. So to throw in will be Anthony uh, Mosley for the Spartans. He has Cullen Ziegler in his face. Bounce pass to Klein. Gillespie in and out. Sandrock, and that one will be off the fingertips of Ivy and out of bounds. So this will be another throw in for the Spartans. A bounce pass out to Sandrock. Sandrock driving and stripped away by Troy Henry. Henry going the other way for the Titans. Driving, look to have a lane, tosses it up and scores. Henry, five points on the night for the Titans. It's 
Spartans leading. Here's Klein, bounce pass, Ivy, and a foul called. Yeah, the foul called on Devon Lozana. And checking in for the Spartans is Devia uh, Fashon. A long pass over to Henry from Parker to throw in here. So back to Parker to Ivy, and that one a little high. And that'll be out of bounds. It's Lakeshore's ball is Lozana. Tapped it before it went out of bounds. So Henry, the senior, will throw it in to Parker. And another foul called. Calls on the 34, Gillespie. This one called on Rishon Gillespie. So Ivy to throw in. Hunter Dean with it. And that one on Gillespie again. So Coach Carlin is sending uh, Kerry Holmes in, taking Gillespie out. So Ivy lofts this one up. Henry. And Dean outreaches Mosley there. Henry over to Ivy. And Ivy loses the handle on it. No call, and it'll just be a throw in for the uh, Titans, but Ivy wanted a foul. Bounce pass to Henry. Henry fadeaway, puts it up, not enough power behind it. Good hustle there, Cullen Ziegler gets it back. And Parker getting around Lozana, lost this one up left-handed, it's off the mark. Dean bails him out, gets the rebound, turns off the mark as it goes over the rim. Foul on Ziegler. Throw in coming for the Spartans from Devia Fashon. Here's Mosley quickly going the other way, kicks it out, Sandrock for three, and it's stuck. They're popped out by Ivy. He's eager to get the game back started. Ivy into Ziegler. Ziegler quickly a pass to Parker as Lozana pressures down. Parker lofts this one up. Hustle there from Ziegler, and they're going to call the foul there on Kerry Holmes. Three forty-one to go here in the third. Salmon leads 45-26. Parker, Ivy. Ivy looking for an option to get to it as Mosley's in his face. He gets lofts it up to Dean, and they're going to call the foul on Hunter Dean. So throw in now coming from the Spartans with Devia Fashon. Lofts it up to Lozana. Lozana to Mosley. Mosley looking to find an option to get around Parker. Pick set. Lozana. Salmon taking their time to set it up, looking to get around, and that'll be called on Ivy. So another throw in coming for the Spartans as Fashon will throw it in here and right in front of the scorer's table. Dean comes out, Hayes goes back in. Fashon looking for an option to pass to, lofts it up, Lozana there, lays it up 
off the backboard. Good job by Ivy holding on, coming away with the rebound. Ivy driving, lofts this one up off the mark. Holmes comes down with the rebound, gets it up. Sandrock going for the dunk, and it's off the mark. Henry up, Hayes puts it up, no call. Sandrock needs an option to pass to, and they're gonna call the foul there as uh, Sandrock got his wrist slapped by Ziegler. So Keith Sandrock at the line to shoot for the Spartans. And over here near sideline, you have Lizana talking, Lizana and Fashion, we're talking it over with Coach Carlin. First one goes for Sandrock. And <laughs> seven points, make it eight points on the night for Keith Sandrock, all from free throws. Ziegler threw up to Ivy. Oh, and they're gonna call Ivy with the travel there. So 2.32 on the clock here in the third. Salmon leads 47 to 26. And now checking into the game, Brendan Perry coming in as Cullen Ziegler goes out. Pass lofted up and another foul called. Henry called on that one. So that'll send Kerry Holmes to the line. Off the front edge of the rim, Parker comes down with a quick pass to Brendan Perry, and Perry gives it back to Parker. Henry looking to drive, not, he's denied. There, gets in, pass, and up, and it goes, and one for Brendan Perry. And the foul called there on Devon Lozano. So Perry to the line to shoot. The 5'9 sophomore sinks it. Three points on the night for Perry. Lozana. Sandrock. Sandrock lofts it up for Carey. Up, bounce off the backboard and in. Eight points for Holmes. CJ Ivy driving and another foul. This one called on Anthony Mosley. So checking in, Kyron Donaldson and Reese Klein checking into the game for the Spartans. CJ Ivey at the line to shoot for the Titans. Ivey sinks that one. Second shot coming for the senior. That one goes. Seven points on the night for the seniors. C.J. Ivey. Salmon works the ball up court. And this one to Donaldson. Driving. A jump ball called there, a very quick call. A minute and a half to play here in the third. And Salmon leads 49-31 here from far downtown, in and out on the attempt to be a Fashion. CJ Ivy going the other way. Ivy getting around Fashion. Layup doesn't go. Hayes looking to get the rebound. And the call there. Number two. 
was on Kerry Holmes. So that'll send Zachary Hayes to the line to shoot for the Titans. Shot up off the mark. Rebound there from Kyron Donaldson. Now Lazana looking for an option to pass to. San, uh, excuse me, Klein. Donaldson driving, puts it up. He's fouled by Hayes. So that sends Kyron Donaldson to the line, the 6'1 senior for Coach Carlin. Sinks the first one. Checking in for the Titans, Griffin Davidson. The six foot junior checks in for Hayes. Second shot coming. Off the uh, back side of the rim there. So Brendan Perry bringing the ball up court under a minute to play. Drives, has a lane, left handed, puts it up and scores. Brendan Perry, five points on the night. Lozana bringing the ball down court. Looking for an option to pass to. Get it past Perry. This one out to Donaldson. Lozana looking up at the clock, 23 seconds. Driving, Lozana just dribbling around as they're just kind of playing a game of keep away and that goes out of bounds as he loses the handle. And they'll say a throw in for the Titans with 15 seconds remaining here in the third. And Perry bringing the ball up. Perry, up and in. And clock running down. Here's Carey from half court, lofts it up off the mark, and that will end the third as Salmon leads 50 to 35. St. Tammany Parish Public Schools, an A-rated school district. Graduates with the highest ACT scores in the state. Facilities with the latest technology. Safe and secure schools. A variety of sports. Fine arts. And learning to last a lifetime. I'm Superintendent Trey Foles, and this is where we educate every child every day. Kicking off the final stands, a throw in coming from Troy Henry to get this one started. Lakeshore, a 15 point deficit. And this one up off the mark. Dean looked to put that one. He kicks it back out to Parker for three and he's off the mark. Sandrock comes down with the rebound. Quickly the other way, here's Klein. Bounce pass up to Sandrock. Up and also off the mark. Now Lakeshore comes down with it. Colby Parker bounce pass up to Perry. And the foul is called on Reese Klein. So that sends Perry to the line to shoot for the Titans. But as I was saying, a 15-point deficit at half. Lakeshore was down 22. So they did a pretty good job of battling back uh, during the third but they still have a long way to go here in the fourth in Lozana. And they're gonna call a jump ball there. Jump ball, and Coach Carlin will take a timeout. So with 7.22 remaining here in the fourth, Salmon leads 50 to 35. Inbounds after the timeout, Henry with the ball. As Kerry Holmes is on him. This one out, up to Dean. Dean looking to put it in and he's fouled. So 
So that sends oh, Dean to the line to shoot. That one goes. So Dean, nine points on the night for Dean. Mass subs for Salmon. Uh, Gillespie, Williams, and Mosley coming in. Second shot from Dean coming. And that one is in. Going the other way, Salmon. Williams bringing the ball up. A zip pass out to Mosley to Lozana. Lozana looking to get around Parker to Gillespie. Bounce pass up to Sandrock. Sandrock turns out to a wide open Williams for three. Drains it. Ten points on the night. Jaden Williams. And going the other way, the Spartans. As it's out to a wide open Williams again for three. Drains that one. Two in a row for the sophomore. And C.J. Ivey over to Perry. Perry up to Henry. It's 56-37. Salmon leading the Titans. Ivey from far downtown is off the mark, and that'll roll out of bounds. Anthony Mosley. Bounce pass into Williams. Six minutes to go here in the fourth. Sandrock. Foul called. I should also note that uh, Salmon with 56, they've hit that comfort point that Coach Carlin was talking about in pregame. Said they should be all right if they get to uh, 55, and I'd say they are, 19-point lead. Sandrock sinks that one, and unreal. Nine points from Keith Sandrock in free throws. Second shot up. That one off to Mark. Dean comes down with the rebound. Here's Perry. Now needs an option to pass to. Finds Henry. Henry to Ivy. Ivy trying to work around. Long pass, and that's tipped out. Should be by Sandrock. And a throw in coming from CJ Ivy. Ivy looking for an option to pass to. Gets it into Parker. Parker to Henry. They have a wide open Brendan Perry. But Lozana quickly over. Here's Perry for three. Off the mark. And they're going to call a foul. This one should be on Rashawn Gillespie, uh, judging by his reaction. Foul's on the 34. Gillespie. This is fifth. So Gillespie, <laughs> they're checking the book to see if uh, he is fouled out. He has. So now Kerry Holmes checks in for Salmon as Hunter Dean heads to the line to shoot. So Dean's first shot sinks. Eleven points on the night for Hunter Dean. Second shot coming. Make that twelve. Going the other way, Jaden Williams. Williams to Lozana. Lozana looking to get around Parker. 5.07 on the clock here in the fourth as Salmon leads 57-39. Sandrock 
three-point attempt is off the mark, and we have another foul. That one called on Brendan Perry. <laughs> Perry looks surprised that it was called on him. Coach Kendall does not like that call. So that sends Kerry Holmes to the line to shoot. Holmes, eight points on the night, hasn't made a free throw. And that one off the mark. Second shot's up, that one off the front edge of the rim. Here's Henry to CJ Ivy. Ivy to Parker, this one up to Dean. And that's gonna be on uh, Sandrock. So that'll send Hunter Dean to the line. Not only was the uh, first half a foul party, but this one, it, the, the game has been one big foul party, usually reserved for the last two minutes of a game. Shots up, that one sinks. Fourteen points on the night for Hunter Dean, five of which were not free throws. And Ivy now called with a foul. That'll send Jaden Williams to the line to shoot for the Spartans. Shot up off the front edge. Second shot coming. That one off the mark as well. Parker gets the rebound and sends it up to Brennan Perry. Perry looking for an option to pass to. Lozana in his face. Ivy, they're passing around the horn. Parker, Parker up to Henry. Trying to get it up to Dean and it's picked off by Sandrock. That one to uh, carry Holmes. Holmes tips it in. 10 points on the night for the senior. Good follow up there, good hustle. 59-41, Salmon leads. Ivy splits defenders, lofts this one up. Ball loose, Dean picks it up. And Dunk doesn't go, he lost the handle on it but a foul was called. And that's a technical foul. So a technical call on CJ Ivy. So now CJ Ivy has fouled out. And uh, Coach Kendall will send Jacob McCullum in as C.J. Ivey is fouled out with 3.58 remaining in the game. And that will send Reese Klein to the line to shoot the free throw following the technical foul. Klein to the line, this one up, sinks it. That's Klein's first point of the night. Makes it 60 to 41, sinks both of them. <laughs> 61 41, a comfortable 20 point lead by the Spartans in this district matchup. Lozana to Sandrock, Sandrock up, tipped up, and a foul called there. So the foul called on Perry. And that'll send 
Kerry Holmes back to the line to shoot for the Spartans. And checking in is uh, B.J. Foster for the Titans. And 3.55 on the clock. Holmes puts this one up. He's off the mark. Second shot coming. Holmes, second shot goes. 11 points on the night for Kerry Holmes. Here's Foster to Parker. Parker has Mosley in his face. And Mosley has quite the wingspan. All he has to do is put his hands up and he's obstructing your view. McCullum there. So 62-43, Salmon leads. Bounce pass up, here's Holmes looking for an option to pass to. Sandrock up, out of bounds. Anthony Mosley looking for an option to pass to. Pass is deflected, but it gets back out to Holmes. Holmes finds Sandrock beyond the arc. And Williams driving, kicks it out to Lozana. And another foul is called. 3-0-3. I have to say, I don't know if we have gone 30, 30 maybe 45 seconds without uh, of, of game time rolling off the clock without it stopping due to a foul in this matchup tonight. Second shot off the mark is Colby Parker out to B.J. Foster. Parker. And that pass stolen away by Holmes. Holmes to Williams. Williams puts it up and he's fouled by Colby Parker. And that sends Jaden Williams to the line to shoot for Salmon. Sinks it. 14 points on the night for Williams. And Charlie Rink, senior coming into the game for the Titans. Second shot for Williams is up and that one sinks. 2.42 to go here in the fourth. Salmon leads 65-43. And Mosley now. Looking for an option to pass to. Mosley needs to get around Rink. Now Mosley driving. Out to Sandrock, Sandrock to Mosley. Sp Salmon taking their time there. That one nearly picked off by Foster. Lozana comes down with it. Now lofted back up as Salmon is playing a big game of keep away. Pass over to Lozana. Wide open for three. Williams off the mark. Headed down court. Troy Henry. Henry, far downtown, is off the mark. Sandrock comes away with it. And we have a timeout on the floor with a minute 34 remaining here in the fourth. Salmon leads 65-43. Klein throws into Lozana. 
minute and a half to go. This one up to Holmes. Klein, bounce pass out to Lozana. So Salmon, a stellar performance tonight. Three-point attempt is up and off the mark. Swatted down and another foul called. That one on Parker. See fouls. Ronald Lemuel. Seventy seconds. Sinks that one. Another shot coming. That one sinks as well. Two points for Ronald, the 6'1 junior. Parker to Foster. That one picked off. Lazana going the other way, and he will lay it in. Lazana, seven points on the night. The six foot sophomore with under a minute to play. Bringing the ball up. Troy Henry. Parker now passing out. Parker's open. He'll take the three well off the mark and a big spill down for Henry. And Henry gets right back up. They uh, going to take uh, an official timeout as subs come in. But Troy Henry was going to come out. McClure and Hayes come in. So there's uh, Hunter Dean's coming out for Lakeshore. 38 seconds on the clock here in the fourth. Lazana looking for an option to pass to. Gets it to Fashon. Fashon looking to split defenders. Gets there. Kicks it out to Klein, who puts it in for two. Four points on the night for the senior, Reese Klein, as it's 71-43 for the Spartans. And there's a three-point attempt off the mark as Norris McClure attempted that one. Klein off the mark on the lay-in. Ronald Lemuel off the mark there, and the clock will wind down. The buzzer sounds. Salmon gets the victory, 71 to 43. So let's take a second to send a thank you to those who helped bring you this game, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Trey Fulce, our director of broadcasting, Dr. Melody Menard, cameraman, editor, and coordinator of Channel 13, Dave the Rave Williams. So from Lakeshore High School, where the Salmon Spartans defeat the Lakeshore Titans in district play, 71 to 43. My name is Grant Yenny. Good night. You are now leaving the prep zone.